what is going on guys welcome back to some more dragon ball z Dokken Battle videos and we are back on this powerful grind i know i took quite a few weeks quite a while away of just kind of being very inconsistent but we're back with some very powerful hardcore consistency and uh, a lot of that is now in the works and guys are seeing that with the continuation of the consistency so anyways guys so real quick announcement about the dragon ball super broly that is announced and actually it's gonna be dropping a couple hours but there was a little update and uh is not exactly what we think uh so we know that obviously the movie will be dropping in japan it's gonna be december i believe in the western side of the world it's gonna be january so the movie is a couple months away and obviously this is promotional material for the movie give it some hype give it some interest give it some you know i guess um some per promotional like material and whatever so we're all thinking wow so they're gonna bring the broly it's gonna be an obtainable card either through summonable means or it's gonna be farmable or whatever they're gonna be doing or it's gonna be an event where we can actually get medals to awaken somebody that's what we're all we were thinking but it seems like bandai actually has a, another idea or something else in store for us in terms of this event now the update drop the you know, obviously, when you log in and uh, the daily reset happens, typically there's new uh, new news or something new happens to where you have new information about something. So we actually got new information about the Extreme Z Awakening. Well, the supposedly Extreme Z Awakening of the Broly. And what's interesting about it, if you actually look at the notice, it says, challenge the extreme battles to get pot uh, sorry, uh, potential orbs in Dragon Stones. And if you actually look down a bit more, it says, in the event listed above, you cannot acquire Awakening Medals. Well, you cannot acquire Awakening Medals required for Extreme Z Awakening certain characters. So, it appears to be this event is not the Extreme Z Awakening event that we actually thought. I could actually be wrong because, once again, once the event drops, it could be something else. But, you cannot acquire Awakening Medals. So, this is literally a potential orb in Dragonstone Extreme Z Awakening. But the thing about the Extreme Z Awakening is that you have the Extreme Z Awakening to awaken a card to level cap 140. That's what the Extreme Z Awakening portion of the game is. You have this brand new kind of game mode and you reach level 30. You acquire all the medals you need to ascend a character from his level cap of 120. And super attack 10 all the way up to level cap 140 and super attack 15 gives you increased stats gives you a brand new leader ability gives you a brand new passive literally is a brand new card also with a brand new super attack modifier and everything literally revamps a card that's what the extremes awakening is but it looks like they're actually treating this as kind of a story event to where you acquire orbs and dragon stones now I understand how valuable orbs are and I understand how valuable dragon stones are. So for them to pack a bunch of orbs and dragon stones in a story mode might have been a bit too generous. So obviously the Extreme Z Awakening is a bit more difficult because as you climb the ranks to level 30, it gets harder and harder and harder and harder and some people can't even beat past level 20. So this could be the case where they think that the potential orbs and dragon stones are so valuable that it warrants an Extreme Z Awakening event with the boss being Broly. But it doesn't really say anything about obtaining a card. It doesn't really say anything about acquiring Awakening Medals. It actually states that you cannot acquire Awakening Medals uh, required for Extreme Z Awakening certain characters. So, as it sounds, there's no medals at all that you're going to obtain from this event. This is literally... For you to obtain orbs and dragon stones based off of the post that i'm reading and based half of how i am interpreting this now once again if the event drops with a story mode that we weren't expecting that wasn't announced because these things that happened before where things just drop and we didn't even see it coming for all we know this could be some kind of mistranslation or something something can happen to where there is a farmable character or some kind of sunnable character that is the broly and uh there is metals like that 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 can be a thing um or it can be exactly how we think it is with it just being a potential orb in dragonstone run and um that literally is what it is so it's kind of interesting how they're going about certain things 
actually kind of thought it was a bit funny for them to drop a card of Broly like months prior to the movie actually being a thing. Because we know the movie, the trailer's released and everything, we know the movie's coming, but uh, it's still a couple of months away before the actual movie drops, so for them to bring a card in Dokkan so soon, I kind of thought it was maybe a bit rushed, because typically you like to wait for the movie to drop, and then drop the card that same week, and then all the hype is just flooded into the game, and then that's where probably going to get a bunch of sales and everything. So that made more sense to me. So right off the bat, I didn't think it made sense for them to drop the card so soon. So I guess for it to just be a grind of potential orbs and dragon stones fighting the boss, I guess. But if this drops tonight and there is no summonable card or farmable card, do not be at all surprised. Because based off of what we're reading, that seems to be what's going to happen. So very quick video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, share, comment down below. If you're not subscribed, make it a thing. Sub to the boy, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.